Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of My LinkedIn Friends. Today, I am joined by my very special guest, Allison Kulesha. She's the general manager of the Karloffs, and she's here today to talk to us about uh, who she is and what she does. So, Allison, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, short story, Allison and I know each other. We, we've uh, done a lot of networking together. We've done some business together. And she really works in a very, uh, very cool and unique uh, business. And I wanted her to be able to have the opportunity to come on here today and, and share a little bit about uh, her background, but also, too, about what Karloff's is and what they do. So, Allison, tell us all about you. <laughs> Um, so a little bit about me. So my background's actually in events. Um, my entire career, that's basically what I did. Um, I've done weddings, I've done corporate events, I've done international events, anywhere from five people all the way to up to a thousand. Um, so how I got here is actually a funny story. So I had left my corporate job over a year ago now and wasn't really sure what I was going to do next. I wasn't really sure what my next step was in terms of events and what I wanted to do. Um, and this actually literally fell into my lap. What is the Karloffs? Uh, because I see behind you, you got a very sexy vehicle there. Um, and that, that's yours, right? That's that's your personal car. Right? This is my personal vehicle. <laughs> I wish. So Karloff, so we're actually, we're very interesting and unique business model. So Karloff's is a vehicle storage facility with a private social club for car enthusiasts. So there's actually nothing like it in the area. So when I got into this, I didn't realize that vehicle storage is an issue because I obviously personally don't have that problem. But when you get into the car world, people that are car collectors and you can collect anything, right? People collect classics, they collect exotics. Everyone's into something different. Um, you run out of storage space. And especially in the North New Jersey area where we're so congested and land is so expensive. Right. Um, and not everyone has a 10 car garage. And actually there are towns like Saddle River does it, Chester does it, where they have an ordinance on the number of garage doors you can have. So you can build it this way, but you can't build it this way. So vehicle storage for car collectors is a problem. And even not just car collectors, like let's say you have your daily driver and then you mm -hmm. maybe have one or two sports cars you like to drive. Well, you're, you might be married, you have kids, you don't have enough garage space. So there are other vehicle storage facilities in the North New Jersey area, but there's nothing like this. Right. So we are more of a showroom versus a garage. Like I don't call mm -hmm. this by any means a garage. Cars look better in here than they do anywhere else. And there is no space within the tri-state area that I'm aware of that incorporates the vehicle storage and social club right. aspect and combines them into two. So we are a very unique business model in that sense. Yeah. And uh, obviously before, uh, before uh, pre COVID um, you know, the event space that you guys have there, I, I was at several events there right. um, and, and it's, a, it's an amazing space. I mean, if anybody has the opportunity to go tour when, when that's, when that's acceptable again, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a brilliant space. I mean, it's, it's really gorgeous. And now you guys with, with, um, and in terms of the cars now, um, and because I've been there, so I've been able to see some of this, but, um, maybe you could describe too some of the, the services you, you also provide for people who bring their cars there. Cause it's not, it's storage, but it's a little bit more than that. Right? A little bit more than that. So, I mean, in terms of our social club, so the loft is upstairs above me right now. The, so the loft looks down on the downstairs and we do host events there to your point. Um, members are able to rent it out and we are renting it out as well for other events. Obviously not really right now, but, right. um, and then in terms of other services we offer. So we actually do have a concierge service available for members. So what that essentially means is we're trying to make your lives easier, not harder vehicles, especially the older ones require a lot of attention and work. So mm -hmm. it might be your hobby, but maybe you don't really have the time to invest in coordinating certain services for your car. So that's where we come in. So we are partnered with different service providers in the area, whether it be for a motorcycle, whether it be for a detail, whatever it is. So all you have to do is pretty much give me a call or give Seth a call, who's one of the partners here, and say, hey, listen, like we need, I want my car detailed or I need an oil change and we'll coordinate it all for you. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we can do here in-house without your vehicle needing to leave at all is we can do details here. So we do have an in-house wash bay. So that gives us the ability to literally just move your car across to the other side. 
wash it here and then just move it right back. So going back to the event side of things and the event space and, and all that, because you guys were running a lot of events. I mean, mm -hmm. I, like everybody during this time, I mean, everybody's been affected in one way or the other with, with the ongoing pandemic. Um, how have you guys been able to, to navigate the waters here and, you know, in the, the word of 2020 pivots or, you know, come up with any kind of new innovations or things like that that have helped to, to keep you guys going? Yeah, so I mean, events for us were really great in terms of marketing the space and getting our name out there because people really need to come here and see the space. Right. So it's an experience. Point, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because at the end of the day, like you can look at pictures, you can take our virtual tour online, but there's when you come here and see the space, it's a much different experience. I mean, even even being in the room right now, like it doesn't do it justice. You have to see the space. Um, so with COVID, obviously that people weren't really coming out anymore. So one of the things um, we did do is we did actually decide to do a 360 virtual tour, which is not something we really would have done if COVID hadn't been a thing um, right. because you can't get people here. I mean, and yes, the virtual tour, I still don't think does it justice, but that's a way that it's for us to still like be able to right. give people a tour without giving them the tour. So we actually just pivoted our focus mainly to be on vehicle storage. And prior to the pandemic occurring, uh, you know, we were in talks with different dealerships, corporations on not just hosting events, but just like relationship building. Right. And so I actually just very simple. Like I picked up the phone every few weeks and called people and was just like, Hey, how you doing? And half the time we didn't really have much to talk about, but it's keeping those relationships going so that when things started to lift, I'm still relevant. So as an example, one thing that we worked on during the pandemic, that's I'm really excited about, um, we are partnered now with road and track. So they came out with a new sect to their business called R and T the track mm -hmm. club. Right. So what it is, is they're turning more, they're trying to shift more from just being like a magazine or a written kind of thing into right. more of a lifestyle brand. So the track club, actually it's a membership based subscription. It's for a year and it gives you access to an exclusive magazine, exclusive event experiences um, and discounts to different, um, whether it be like we're on there, um, mm -hmm course and then you have different things like trout back which is like um a place up in upstate new york it's like a little right. spot um right, but right. They have different discounts and incentives for different and they have three different tiers of memberships so we during the pandemic i mean that takes a little time to get finalized to get through the details but that's something that we really work closely on i've been all about the social media too but trying to just promote vehicle storage and cars and stick with that route. And I don't know if I, I like to say that I think it works because now that things are starting to lift a little bit, we're hosting outdoor cars and coffee events. And, you know, in talking with people that I've been trying to build relationships with, they're like, Oh, like I see you on social media all the time. You're doing great. And now I'm getting phone calls for events in the fall or next year, or people wanting to partner up for something else. So I think that at the end of the day, this kind of space isn't going to, it's just such a unique business model that you're gonna, right. you're gonna thrive on those relationships. So that's pretty much what I've been focusing on over the last few months. What is the best way, Allison, for people to connect with you if they wanna learn more about car loss, if they're interested in partnerships, um, or uh, you know, they just want to uh, get some more information in general? Um, yes, yeah, so I mean, the best way to get in touch with me is you can just shoot me an email. Um, you can call our main line or you can call my cell phone. Um, you can call me, you can text me. We're here pretty much five days a week, sometimes six, seven days a week, but we're open during the week, um, weekends by appointment. Love to show you the space, so. Awesome, excellent, very good. And um, so with that, I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching another episode of My LinkedIn Friends. Thank you, Allison, for your time today and for sharing uh, your background and a little bit about Karloffs and what you guys do and some of the pivots that you've made during this time. And uh, I want to say, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for resharing the episodes. And most importantly, thank you so much for connecting with the guests that I have on here. That's the point of doing this. I want to make sure everybody gets connected, stays connected, and begins to develop great relationships with one another. So make sure you reach out and you connect with Allison. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks, Take care. Bro. See you soon.